All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Issachar coming back at you with another lesson. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. All right, in today's lesson, we're going to go into, um, you know, how these, uh, right now, there's a big, um, you know, uh, immigration, you know, crisis going on in the borders of America. All right, so we're going to go into, uh, you know, further uh, detail and information on that. You know, it's not just these borders are out of control, you know. Um, and uh, before I get into the lesson, it's just... Um, Let's just say, for example, you know, someone were to, uh, you know, come in your house or invade your, you know, your front yard or your house. You know, let's say you're on a family vacation. You know, you might have, uh, somebody might have slipped through, you know, a day or two. And then you, you will catch word of it and you will get to the bottom of it. You know, you would probably put up a fence, some cameras, talk to your neighbors. You will make sure that that don't happen no more, wouldn't you? You know, or would you let people just keep on coming to your house, you know? and uh, talk about it for years, because this has been going on for years, okay? It's not like something just, just happened for two days, you know? Like a, like a strike where people are just coming in through the borders. This has been happening for a long time. You see, in the, in, in the U.S. still can't get to the bottom of it. You know, they had the strongest military in the world, and they can't control it. That's just to show you that they're allowing it. The top rulers are allowing them to come in, you know, because they wanted to, they can really shut it down and uh, they can really, you know, uh, pick and choose who's coming in and who's coming and who's not. But they're allowing it, you know. But yes, you know, they pay the, uh, you know, the borders, you know, those uh, rangers and all them. Yeah, they do their job. But, you know, they can, you know, uh, they can really, you know, uh, control it more if they wanted to, you know. So they just, you know, do, a, you know, a, a little bit, you know. But they can really, if they really wanted to, they can, you know, shut it down. They can really watch, you know, who's coming in through those borders, you know. And um, that just shows that uh, we'll get into, uh, let's go to the book of Psalms and then we'll continue. All right. This is all about, you know, what's happening in uh, the borders of America, Babylon. All right. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 10, verse 1 through 9. All right, to give you, uh, you know, out there, those of you who want to learn a further understanding and some more information about, you know, what's really going on. Why is it happening? You know, you know, how come they can't control these borders? You know, why are they doing just a little bit about it? You know, the book of Psalms, chapter 10, verse 1 through 9. Why standest thou afar off, O Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? Verse 2, the wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Verse 3, for the wicked boasted of his heart's desire because they're full of pride. All right. They persecute the poor and blessed the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. Because, yeah, these devils are full of pride. So two main reasons. Okay, two main reasons why they have so many, uh, they're allowing so many people to come in through those borders, you know, how they look the other way. They say, well, oh, it's a problem. We're working on it, you know, to kind of, you know, you know, to give the, the, the American citizens, you know, uh, a little closure, you know, to give them a little comfort. Like, yeah, you know, we're working on it, you know, but, you know, but they can really shut it down if they wanted to, you know, but they just say that, you know, they put some rangers out there, you know, they are, you know. They are doing their job, you know, we're not, you know, talking them down, you know, because, uh, you know, there's always a lot of, you know, uh, crazy stuff going on in the borders, you know, and, uh, you know, because you don't know who's going to cross them borders, you know, but they can really, you know, clamp down if they wanted to, you know, because look at how much uh, money this country got as far as military wise, you know, and, and, you know, you're telling me that they can't even protect their own, their own house, their own borders. Does that make any sense to you? Meanwhile, they're giving billions and billions of dollars to Ukraine and Israel. Meanwhile, they can't protect their own house, their own casa. Huh? No mames. Ves? 
Okay, so the two main reasons, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is because um, they're letting, allowing those sleeper cells, you know, foreign troops, whoever, militias, new world order uh, soldiers coming through those borders. They're called sleeper cells. All right. Why sleeper cells? Quick, uh, quick and straight to the point, because they're here. Not, they're not, they're, they're coming in here and they're just going to go to sleep, you know? You know, don't be silly. Huh? So it's because they're uh, they're waiting for their green light, you know, and they look like regular, you know, people, you know, regular, you know, uh, citizen people who want, uh, you know, uh, visas, people who just want to work, but they're actually uh, sleeper cells, you know, because uh, they're not over here like in, in soldier outfits and all that, but they are. They're soldiers, but they dress like regular civilians, you know, you see. All right. But they're waiting for the green light and then they're going to uh, attack or do whatever that they have planned. That these elites have planned you know so that's number one they're allowing the people to come in for that because they're allowing the sleeper cells to come in here and plus there's already a lot here all right um number two is uh they're allowing they're doing the same thing these edomites are doing the same thing that they did back in 70 a.d okay before they siege uh jerusalem okay they allowed the pilgrims to go inside Okay, before they actually built that, that wall, they allowed the people to go inside because, can you imagine now, you know, because these Edomites, they're bloodthirsty. Okay, so with their technology, you know, with everything that they have, you know, uh, androids, you know, killer drones, the list goes on and on, you see? So, you know, they have one last hurrah. So, you know, why not allow more people to come in, you know? Because if there's less people, then that's just less people that they have to destroy. But if there's more people, that's just more for them to destroy. That's more blood to spill. You see that? And that's like a game, you know? Remember like that game, the, the Hunter Games? The Hunger Games? Because that's the Edomites, you know? They, uh, you know, they, they destroy, they kill people for fun. You know, it's no joke. You know, so they're allowing, you know? Because imagine, so with all their lasers and all that, so they, to them, they want... That's fun to them, you know, so they're allowing them like, yeah, let them come in, you know, let them come in because they're allowing them to come in, you know, that way uh, when they shut this place down, you know, there's two things that they're going to do with these immigrants. Uh, one first thing, you know, they're going to slaughter them, you know, when it's time for Jacob's trouble, you know, they're going to release these malicious, uh, these militias out here, these sleeper cells, you know, number two, they're going to point fingers. You know, look what happened with the first pandemic. All right. Who did they want on the news? Who did they want specifically to get those jabs first? The so-called black, Latino, Native American, Indian. They told you that straight out to show you they're targeting your Israelites. They're coming for you. And to show you uh, even you like lower level. All right. Um, you low level Freemasons, witches and warlocks out there. Yes. These top uh, these top. Um, saying this on the left hand side they may promise you all oh, the new world order is going to be all this and that you know no okay because they're coming for you too because you're an israelite as well facts because when that pandemic ha happened uh, you got hit too you know these elites created that you know and so they should at least had a pill or something for you guys for uh like you small like your lower level people like on the left hand side uh, that are Israelites, okay, not that are heathens, the Edomites, that are Israelites, just to show you that they're not with you, okay, yeah, sure, they promise you the world, they're just words, okay, the Lord is telling us that they're coming for you too, you know, it's not to, uh, it's not to change anything, it's not to line up persecution, you know, it's not to take back anything that the men of the Lord said, okay, the message stays, the message stays the same, but it's just to let you know, because uh, you got hit, with the same virus that they re that they released. You see, you guys should at least, those of you who are complying, you know, with the left-hand side and the New World Order, you guys should at least had a pill or something, you know, like, hey, make sure these people, you know, the top dudes, the top dukes of Edom should have made sure, like, hey, you know, make sure these people are all right because they're willing to comply. They're with us and they're working for us. They're helping persecute the men of the Lord, the women of the Lord, you know, make sure they don't get it. You guys still caught it. You know, and you could have you could have passed away just to show you that, you know, that they're if they didn't care about you in the first pandemic, what do you think they're going to they're going to care about you when they come out uh, when they shut down these cities? Well, martial law guillotines, they have these militias out here. They're going to turn 
on you low level uh, people on the left hand side too. Uh, you low level Freemasons, witches and warlocks. Uh, those of you that do voodoo, they're coming for you. Right now, they're just using you, you know? Yes, you're entertainment. Yes, you know, you're useful. You know, you're a witch and all that, you know? They can see where people are at, you know, like the next day, oh, this person's going to eat this for lunch. This person's going to be here at this time, you know, whatever. You know, it's just an example, you know? But at the end of the day, once they really start rolling, they're going to take you out too, you know? Because that the first pandemic is a prime example because you got hit with that uh you got hit with that with that uh sickness as well see you know you should they should at least had something you know uh, a jab or a uh you know other than the, the the jab that everybody else took or a pill or something that you know made you uh you guys that even sold out you know even you celebrities out there you know because you guys caught it too you know you guys sold your soul and everything and you still got it just to show you that they don't care about you guys as well you know you guys are selling out for nothing we're talking about the Israelites who are wicked, all right, who, who look up to these, uh, to the Dukes of Edom, who look up to the, the elites, like, yeah, you know, we're down with the New World Order, you know, they're going to take care of us. No, they're not, all right, you know, because they're professional liars. They're coming for you, you know, and that don't, you know, it doesn't uh, change a thing, you know, it's not, you know, to uh, lie in persecution, you know, to tell you guys stop being mean to us or anything like that, you know, the message stays the same. If you don't like us, hey, you want some, come get some facts you know but the, the lord is telling you you know how it is that way you have a chance to repent too but it's your choice you see you know ain't no ain't no one that believe in the lord no one's biting their nails over here okay straight up it's just to give a message and to prove what's really going on see that so those are the two main things they're letting the people come in through the border because they're sleeper cells coming in through the border and also because they have all these toys all this technology hey you know, do they want to take out a thousand people or they want to take out a million people? They're bloodthirsty. So they're like, hey, let them come in, you know, I let them come in, you know, but they do just the bare minimum with the Rangers and they say, oh, they're working on it. That's been going on for so long now. They can't, you telling me they can't get to the bottom of it? It's because they want to destroy. And who are the, who are the majority of people coming in through those borders? You Israelites. Okay. So-called Mexicanos, so-called uh, Colombians, you know. You also got, uh, you know, uh, you know, like uh, Asians, you got other people coming into those borders, but predominantly the general people coming into those borders are you tribes, okay? The so-called black, Latino, and Native American Indian, you see? Those are the main people coming in because they're, uh, they're, it's a death trap. They're like, yeah, let them come in here, you know, because they're going to shut it down and they're really going to uh, close the borders, you see? You know, because like, in that time of Jacob's trouble, how they're going to close the borders, they could have done that years ago. You know, a long time ago to stop all these people from crossing the borders. But it's just to show you they're allowing it to happen. You know, you see? See that? But they are. They are going to shut down these borders. So those of you that are coming into America, you're not going to be able to leave. This place is going to be a complete war zone. It's just a FYI. You know, it's not to change your information. You know, it's not to change anything. Hey, you hate the men of the Lord. You hate the Lord. Hey, that's on you. But it's just to uh, give, you know, a, a, a true message out there of what's going on, you know. Because even you you guys that sold out out there, you're in danger too. Oh, absolutely. You know, because they have, they have a plan, you know, to uh, exterminate the Israelites. Because the top Dukes of Edom, the top men, uh, the top men, uh, the top bankers, international bankers, they want their blessing. And that, for them in their minds... Okay, they're, they're thinking, well, the only way for us to get our blessing back is to totally exterminate every Israelite, including those of you that sold out and are working for them. You know, although they tell you, no, you know, you're my friend, just watch, you know. You know, there's no reason for us to lie to you. You know, we ain't got nothing, you know. We uh, we make our bodies a living sacrifice. You know, this is our life to give out the information, just the facts, you know. How, how you react, that's on you. That's totally on you. You know, it's your choice. Psalms chapter 10, verse 4. We're going to go down to the ninth verse. The wicked through the pride of his continence, because they're full of pride, will not seek after the Most High. Yeah, because they're not they're not trying to repent. You know, they're like, no, we're just going to take everybody out. You know, if we ain't making it out of here, nobody's making it out of here. You know, you may you know smile a little about it, but it's for reals. You know, and they're going to show you. You know how much they hate you tribes you know they're coming for you guys 
you know? But that's why the men of the Lord, uh, the prophets are on the front lines, you know, uh, to really sacrifice themselves because uh, the men of the Lord, you know, out there, they're out there on the, the corners, you know, the highways and the byways, they can get taken out any time, you know, if they, you know, because, uh, you know, we're vulnerable. We're like worms, you know, we don't have bulletproof vests. We're not out there with tanks and shields. We're out there with just a Bible, you know, no teams, no military, no nothing, no weapons. You know, so they really, you know, were to roll, you know, I mean, hey, you know, and uh, the men of the Lord, you know, are not, you know, spies and all that, you know, like they have teams in this world, you know, like Navy SEALs and stuff like that, you know, CIA or, you know, whatever, FBI, you know, they don't really tell people who they are, of course, for uh, for obvious reasons. But the men of the Lord, you know who they are, you know, there's not no what's ifs or, hey, who's this guy? The elites know who they are. See that? So they truly make themselves a, a living sacrifice. See that? You know, those of you who are part of like secret teams and all that, would you tell Would you tell your enemy who you are? No, that would you would totally blow your cover, right? But the men of the Lord tell the elites exactly who they are and tell them that, yeah, they're on the front lines and they're waiting for the bankers. That's right. We're waiting for them, you know? We're not biting our nails like, oh, they're going to roll and they got guillotines. You know, we're waiting. You know, the pressure's on them now. You know, we're, we're waiting on them. Huh? Facts. Psalms chapter 10 verse uh, 4. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the Most High because they don't care about the Lord. The Most High, Yahweh, is not in all his thoughts. Yeah, because they're about them. They think that they're God. They're saying forget God. Uh, man, I, forget, I forgot the name of that one clown where he said that they don't need... Uh, hmm. It was that one... Uh, small hat he was the one saying that uh you know uh, people are, are hackable animals stuff like that that we don't need god no more you know that we can we can uh, piss off god as much as we want you know uh Salakia out there you know uh i forgot that guy's name but he was a small hat you know he was a little rug rat psalms chapter 10 verse 5 down to the ninth verse his ways are always grievous thy judgments are far above out of his sight as for all his enemies, he puffed at them, right? Because they think that, yeah, you know, we're king. No one's going to take us down. So see that? So the, the Edomites, they're puffed up. Like, yeah, you know, so they they make fun of the Lord. They make fun of the believers of the Lord, which are men, women, and children, and especially the prophets, you know? So they puff it at them. Like, yeah, you know, like, so they make fun of them, you know? But it's fine, you know? It don't matter what they say. Uh, the Edomites, every last one of them are going to slavery, you know? And they're going to be uh, taken out here very painfully you know so it's all right you know it's bet that's how the lord wants them the lord wants them at the height of their pride so when they catch their beat down it's gonna hurt that much more the lord don't want our enemies with their head down you know no that would take away all the excitement the lord wants our enemies puffed up with their head up you know coming head first like yeah we got this you know that way when when they catch that beat down it's gonna sting it's gonna hurt that much more because in their heart they swear that they're right and they think, oh, yeah, we're going to counter the Lord and, you know, we're, we're going to beat him, you know, and we're going to do this. We're going to we're going to we're going to accomplish the NWO. Man, they're about to get a beat down, you know, like the world's never seen before. They're about to get a, a smack down. Facts, you know, keep your keep your cameras rolling. Keep your phones charged. Just watch what happens out here to the wicked. Absolutely. Psalms chapter 10, verse uh, 6. Psalms chapter 10 verse 6 He has said in his heart So he's saying The wicked are saying in their mind I shall not be moved I shall never be at adversity Because Yeah they think that You know Who's going to take us out of our power You know uh, You know Line them up You know I wish a mofo would come after us Because they're thinking You know Who's going to take us down We're going to rule forever The Lord's going to take them down One hour And the 144,000 Along with the The angelic forces His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. See that? So they just cut. They just curse. All they do is complain and fraud because they're liars. All they do is set people up. You know, undermine them. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. See, so nothing good. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. This is Psalms chapter ten, verse eight. In the secret places doth he murder the innocent. See, so they're murdering the innocent. That's why they're allowing uh, you tribes to come in through those borders. That way they can lock you in here, put you in those camps. And then once they have like the purge out here, you know, because they're going to have a purge out here, you know, civil war 
we know when these new uh, new world order troops are going to go and start slaughtering you Israelites. That's Jacob's trouble. We'll get that in the book of Jeremiah here a little after. His eyes are privily set against the poor. See that? So they're constantly pl planning on how to slaughter you Israelites. You know, and right now they're doing it uh, secretly, you know, through pork, through, uh, you know, your, uh, your cigarettes, you know, drugs, all that, you know. Uh, you know, uh, witchcraft in your music, vibration, because the music carry different vibrations, you know. He lieth and waits secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth and wait to catch the poor. He does catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. Yeah, because see, the wicked are not, they're not for you Israelites. The Edomites, they don't like you Israelites. Why? Because they're not supposed to. All right, they are our number one enemy. You can... Ecclesiasticus chapter 12 verse 10 or Sirach chapter 12 verse 10 because in the Apocrypha um, it's either you're going to have you're going to have uh, the uh, uh, Ecclesiasticus but if you have uh, original 1611 King James Version you, you could have the Sirach there alright and uh, that's uh, chapter you know it's both the same um, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 12 verse 10 that's why the Lord tells us never trust thy enemy never you know, so it doesn't mean uh like on his birthday is he gonna be more nicer to you if you sold out he's gonna end up just loving you no he's just using you all right uh for you sellouts out there that's just a fyi you know it's not to change your information say hey believe us don't believe them believe them don't believe us it's just facts you know because we gotta teach uh we gotta teach the uh the viewers out there uh all sides you know the good, the bad, you know, some some of it don't feel good, you know, because you hear about slavery, you hear about the missiles, but the true prophets are going to lay it all down. That way you can see all sides of the spectrum, you know, so you can get a thorough understanding of what's going on, you know. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 14 through 20. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not into the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away for they oh here we go this is the point uh proverbs chapter 4 verse 16 for they sleep not who 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 doesn't sleep the wicked for they sleep not so they can't sleep well except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away so they can't sleep at night unless what here we go let's continue unless they cause some to fall See that? So that's all they do is wake up and like, how are we going to mess with the righteous today? How can I mess up their day? How can I make them go off? See? And they got their witches and warlocks out here constantly putting spells on you righteous. You got to know that. That you Israelites out there, you're constant, you're a prey. You know? Even those of you who are celebrities, those of you who are sellouts and low-level Freemasons, they're still making fun of you. You know? Yeah, they smile like, yeah, we got them to sell out. But they're still like, yeah, we're still going to roll on them, you know, because they don't care about you. You got to understand that. And their hearts are like, yeah, they're our slaves. You know, we own them. But the thing is that, you know, they're thinking that, you know, in their mind, like, yeah, we're going to roll on the, the new NWO, you know, whoever's stuck, you know, they're they're stuck with they're stuck with us. You know, we're going to uh, we're going to slaughter them. OK, but the real thing is that uh they're stuck on the earth with the 144 in the lord see that so they may have remember the little halftime show but really the lord's telling them no you're stuck with us because they can't leave the planet earth don't matter how much they say they went to the moon yeah because i saw some something bugged out that uh that uh, now japan saying that they're going to the moon you see these heathens they're bugged out you know they're like children they just lie so yeah we're going they, no one can land on the moon there's it's not there's not no surface up there the moon is a light. All right. You see? So this, uh, you know, these that just shows you who's ruling right now. These heathens, you know? And they just lie. Say, yeah, we, we went up there. We did it. When they didn't. But that just shows, you know, uh, who's ruling over us. They're the heathen. They're the Edomites. See? You know? You see that? And, you know, it's silly, ain't it? You know? But so in their mind, that's just to give it FYI, you know? Because the left-hand side, they think, you know, the Duke's like, oh, yeah, we got everything sold up, you know. Everybody, uh, they're our slaves. They're, you know, once we start rolling, uh, th they're stuck with us. But in reality, they're stuck 
you know, it's like, nah, partner, you know, uh, you Edomites, those of you on the left-hand side, you got your little halftime show, but in reality, you're stuck with the 144 in the Lord. So it's the other way around, partner, you know, Sally, because you're stuck here with the Lord and the 144, you know? Oh yeah, the whole the whole world is like a stadium, you know, and you're stuck and you're gonna be hunted, you know? So just like you pray over the righteous, the left-hand side, you know, you think, oh yeah, there are slaves, you know, we can do whatever we want. No, you're the Lord's slave. You're the Lord's slaves, you know, and you're stuck with the Lord. And the, you're stuck here on the planet Earth with the angels, the Lord, and the 144,000, you see? So they can talk all they want, but in reality, they're stuck here. You know, they're the prey because the hunters are going to become the hunted. Facts. That's something that you righteous got to know. Don't worry about the wicked. Let them babble. Let them talk. They're not going anywhere. You know, that's why the Lord encourages those of you that are doing bad. Stop. You know, don't destroy yourself. You know, but if you feel some type of way, go for it. You know, but it's not going to end well for you. But at least the Lord's warning you. He's giving you a chance. You know, hey, put it down. You know, put it down. But if you want to continue, hey, go for it. You know, that's your choice. Uh, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 17. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. See? So they're all about violence. Because how do they take this land? Did they ask the so-called uh, the so-called Mexicans, okay, the so-called Native American Indians to, uh, you know, for the land? No, they slaughtered them, you know? But the, you know how? They shook their hands, you know, and uh, had broken treaties. As soon as villages went asleep, they slaughtered innocent men, women, and children. See? But at least right now, the Lord is telling the Edomites, them on the left-hand side, uh, put your dukes up. At least the Lord is telling them, uh, get ready, you know? At least the Lord is telling them, I'm coming for you. You know, the Lord's not just going to uh, sneak up on them. No, the Lord's saying, I'm coming, you know? So go ahead, you know, get your super soldiers ready. Uh, have have as many Zoom meetings as you want, you know. Uh, go for it. Cry to the elites. It ain't going to do you no good. But the Lord, he's at least telling them, I'm coming. You know, and when I come, you're about to catch a beat down. You know, so at least the Lord, at least they have a, 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 at least the wicked are getting warned. At least they have time to prep. You know, remember us. They just shook our hands over here in the West, in the Americas. When uh, Christopher Colon, a.k.a. Christopher Columbus came over here, you know, they, they came over here with smiles, you know, shook our hands. And then as soon as uh, we fell asleep, they slaughtered us. See, because they're a bunch of cowards. That's how the enemy works. Does the enemy right now, the Edomites, do they tell you that they hate you? Or do they come at you with smiles? You know, do they come at you with pandemics? You know, with pork, with diseases, spay chemtrails on you. Because they do it in silence, in secrecy. Because that's why their power is what? Secrecy, Freemasonry. See, because that's how they roll. See that? Because they're not up to no good. That's why they say don't ask no questions. Because they're not up to no good. See? But that's why right now the Lord's exposing them. So that's why their foundations are getting broken up. Because the Lord's exposing these clowns. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. But the path of the just is as a shining light and shineth more and more unto that perfect day. Yeah, because the righteous out there are being purged. They are being tried, but it's like uh, as gold is tried in the fire. You guys are becoming stronger and stronger until the day the Lord gets here. More perfect. See? Proverbs chapter 4, verse 19. The way of the wicked is as darkness. So it's not good. I mean, who likes to be in the dark? Huh? You know? You may not mind. Like, oh, I don't mind being in the dark. But I mean, who wants to honestly just be in the dark all day with nothing? You can't even see nothing. It's no good. It's no bueno. They they know not at what they stumble. Verse 20, my son, attend to my words. So that goes to you women and children as well. Incline thine ear to my sayings. See, so uh, take heed to what the Lord's saying. You know, he's not just, you think the Lord's just, you know, wasting his breath? No, he's telling you, prepare. You know, these people hate us. You know, and they're coming for us. You know, but uh, fear not because remember, you're not alone. But they are, you know, they're planning major stuff. All right. Oh, and uh, another thing. Okay, so uh, uh, remember how they had a. Uh, uh, I had a lesson. Uh, yesterday I made a, a lesson on these. Uh, you know the the terminators, these androids coming in through the trains. 
that's the same thing that these Edomites did when they uh, came to the Americas, these conquistadors, because they slaughtered the buffalo, they slaughtered the Native American Indians, the so-called Native American Indians, which were from the tribe of Gad, Reuben, Issachar. Okay, uh, what they did is that uh, they slaughtered the people and they put them right there by the rivers. And the, the buffalo, you know, the animals, they put it right there by the rivers. That way it could pollute the water. So that way the tribes that were down the river were drinking polluted water. Okay, same thing with the train derailments. Remember how those train derailments, the train derailments that happened around the world, they had those chemicals on them, you know? And where were those train derailments near? Rivers. See, because they're polluting your water. See? You know, just to show you, uh, these devils are doing the same thing over and over again. Because uh, that's not the way, you know, all of the uh, the androids are going to come. But that's one of the way that they're going to bring, you know, those Terminators, those androids and stuff. is by those trains, you know. Facts. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Jacob is, uh, you know, that is for, um, you know, uh, you Israelites out there, you Hebrew Israelites, which consists of 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. But he shall be saved out of it because it's, we're entering the worst time ever the planet Earth has ever seen. But at the end, look at, but he shall be saved out of it. Right. Because it's twofold. It's not all doom and gloom. Stop giving the wicked so much credit, you know. The Lord's saying, I'm, I'm bringing these things. I control Esau. He's the sword. But the Lord's saying, I'm the one swinging it. See? You know? It's, it's like a sword, you know? Let's say like a shovel. You know, you have a shovel. Okay. But if the person don't know how to use a shovel, that shovel's no good. It doesn't matter if it's a, a razorback. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a good shovel. You know? If that person does not know how to use a shovel, the shovel's no good. Like a swordsman. Okay? Let's say you have a... Or even like a samurai sword, you know, you could have a best, you know, Japanese or, you know, whatever, you know, uh, so, you know, I don't know too much about those, you know, but, you know, the samurai sword or whatever, ninja swords, let's say like, you know, there's one that was real good, you know, but if that person don't know how to use that sword, it's no good. Same thing with these Edomites, because they are the, the sword of the Lord on the left hand side, but the Lord is saying, I'm swinging it. So the Lord is saying, I'm controlling them. See, so the Lord is saying, if I control them, I'm going to protect you from them because I'm controlling them. So why can't the Lord protect you from them if he's the one swinging the sword? See, so when it comes to your house, he's just going to stop. He's not going to swing the sword. You see? So why fear? But he shall be saved out of it. And that also goes to you men, women, and children out there, you know? And it doesn't matter. Remember, if you're in the military, wherever you're at, you know? It doesn't matter if you're part, if you believe in the Lord and you're part of that hopeful elect, you will be saved. Absolutely. Now let's go to the book of uh, Daniel. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. Let me this. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. Speaks about the time that we're entering. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. Michael is the, uh, he is the uh, third in command. He is the uh, the chief prince. He is the uh, chief archangel. You know, Michael is all about war. Okay. Michael, uh, shall Michael stand up? The great prince was standard for the children of that people. Who? You tribes. And there shall be a time of trouble. What for entering? You know, it's right here at our doorstep. Such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. So right here, our Lord's telling us through his prophet Daniel... Is that we're entering the worst time the world has ever experienced. You know, worse than Sodom and Gomorrah? Worse than 70 AD? Worse than the flood? I mean, come on. The Lord flooded. The Lord drowned everybody except eight people. And the Lord's telling us that this time that we're entering is about to be worse. So we're about to see some stuff. You know? And at that time, that, here we go. Here's the flip side. Okay, because remember, it's the worst time. But here's the comforter. And at that time, because it's balance, because if one people are going down, there's somebody else who's coming up. Because we're going up, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we done our time. You know, we got next. You know, rejoice. It's balance, you know. Like you have a, you know, a weight, you know, because one side's